Level 2 members and above have the ability to add a news article to the front page of their system so that when learners log in they can see any news updates that you might have for them such as system maintenance, new courses added or general news that you want to tell them about learning events on the system. To add a news article you need to go into the Manage Centre as Administrator. Under Communicate you'll see a section called News Search and Maintenance. Once you click here you'll see the option to add a new article. Here you'll be able to add all the details for your article. What you'll need to do is select the news category, in this instance testing, and then you can check whether you want it to be the title only, title and the teaser, title and content, or content only. For this instance I'm going to go with the head title and content. Once you've put in the title, in this case test one, I'm going to leave the teaser as I haven't selected to add one, and then add in your article. Once you've done this, you may want to add an expiration date for when it closes down. This means that after this date it will no longer display. So it will automatically show until expiration date. My expiration date is set for February 4th, but you can select any that you wish. You can also select it to delete after this date, but the expiration will remove it completely for other users to see. Once you've done this, you need to make sure that you set a target audience. This means that you're selecting your organisation for seeing this. So once I click Organisation, you'll see here that you also have the ability to select it so that only certain sections of the organisation see the news. If it applies to HQ only, field office or anywhere else, you can select it to go there. Or by selecting the top level of your organisation's name, it will show for everybody. Once I click there, as you can see, press save and the news article is saved. I can now see what this looks like by going over to the home page and as you can see it now appears. Thank you.